Hello, in this video I am showing you the process I did to fix up Queen Bee's hair. So let's get started. Just go ahead and just change me already! As the doll hair has had some product in it to give it a curl, I'm just going to use some sticky stuff remover to help remove the product and clean the hair. This is an optional step in doll cleanup. It just helps the hair be as clean as possible. So I just work the sticky stuff remover through her hair and then I'm going to let it sit for five to ten minutes for the product to break down the sticky stuff. Ah, my hair! So now that Queen Bee has had a soak, I'm going to wash it out with a bit of dishwashing liquid. I'm also going to give her body a scrub at the same time. This is my cleaning toothbrush. This does not go in anybody's mouth. I also am just giving it a brush to help get it straight so I can add a black hair strip to it which is more in line with what the cartoon version has. So after I wash the dishwashing liquid out, I'm going to do a hot water dunk. This is an optional step, but I find it makes the hair a lot straighter and can remove puff, making the hair smoother. So I have just a bowl of hot boiling water and I'm going to dunk the hair into it. Some people will follow this boiling water dunk with an ice water dunk, but I'm not going to do that. This is also a good time to remove the head as the plastic neck joint is soft and can be easily separated from the body. So be careful as the hair is now hot when combing, stand at the end and work up to the head to avoid knotting the hair. My secret to getting the hair looking really fine is to work down in the comb tooth gaps. Start with a wide tooth comb and work down to a smaller tooth gap, dunking the hair between combs. Look how long this doll hair is is just about down to her ankles. Disney Rapunzel dolls have hair this long. So here she is, all clean, with straight hair. Now let's wash her jumpsuit. I'm just adding a bit of laundry liquid to the water to help wash out any dust the jumpsuit has picked up while being loose in the factory. Now I just rinse it out and let it air dry. I lost the footage of me adding some black hair onto Queen Bee's head. But I just got a cheap hair piece, cut some strands off it, put it on my homemade hair reader tool, and jerked it into her head. Then I put some glue in her head to keep the hair in place and not fall out. So now I'm just tying up the hair into its original style, getting ready to put the curl in. And here's a shot of our cat Pancake's tail. She so casually flopped onto my workspace. So I've just made myself a foil hair curler. It's a bit wider at the top and fins out towards the bottom. I just folded some foil to get the shape. Now I'm just wrapping the hair around it tightly to make her curl. To make sure it holds in shape during the hot water dunk, I'm just adding a bit more foil. So off camera, I dunked it into the boiling water and then let it air dry. Now that the hair is dry, I am going to spray it with some hairspray just to help it stay in the curl. My hairspray lost its button, so I needed two hands to get some out. And also forgot to check to see if the door was actually in the camera frame. Alright, the hairspray has dried, so now we can take out the hair curler and look at her hair. I am just cutting off the excess black, and here we go, black streaked queen bee. Leave a like if you think her hair looks good with the black. Now I need to work on her other accessories.